Hello, my amazing artists. We are continuing thinking about color today as we think about our color wheel. Today though, we are thinking about two things. We are thinking about our primary colors, which are the colors that we use to make our secondary color. Our primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. We're gonna put those in the background for our very own Pete Modrian inspired primary color spider webs and secondary color webs. Our secondary colors are orange, green, and purple. We're gonna use those for our spiders. Let's get started. For this project, you are going to need a piece of paper. You are going to need a pencil. I'm gonna be using markers and crayons. You can use whatever materials you happen to have available to you. Let's get started. So, starting with our blank piece of paper, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna pick what corner we're gonna draw our straight lines from. I think I'm gonna go with this corner. And then, if you have a ruler, that's awesome. Otherwise, you can just use a spare piece of paper to help you draw your straight lines from that corner out to the edges. And this gives me four sections divided by three lines. Now in between these, I am going to be creating kind of a bumpy line. So I'm going to make one, two, three, four, and I'm going to repeat that step a couple times. So I'm making kind of a bump in between each of my three lines and the edge of the paper, mimicking the way that we see um, the threads work in a actual spider variety. So now I've got three lines going in kind of an arc bumpy line and three lines going straight diagonal on my paper to make my spider web. At this point, I am going to now draw my spiders. Now, some things that we know about spiders is that they have two sections to their body. They have eight eyes and eight legs. So you're gonna start by drawing some circles. So for one spider, I'm gonna draw a bigger circle, and then I'm gonna stack a smaller circle on top. And then you can pick whatever kind of line you wanna use for your spider's legs. Maybe you do bent lines. Remember, you need four on each side to get a total of eight. Maybe over here we'll do another spider. So we start with a bigger circle, then a smaller circle, and then we can repeat. Um, maybe this one has kind of curved lines. And again, I need four on each side to get a total of eight. And I'm gonna do one more spider. And maybe this one has just some straight lines for its legs. And again, four on each side to get a total of eight. Now I'm ready to do some tracing with marker. For this step, um, if you are choosing to use one of the permanent markers, you are gonna want to put your protector paper underneath. I'm just gonna use a washable marker today. So I'm gonna take my washable marker, I'm gonna trace, then I'm gonna do some erasing. I'm gonna fast forward this step. Remember, you need to take your time. Now you might be saying, Miss Anderson, you erased your spider's legs. You are right, and that is because I'm gonna be drawing those with my washable marker, and I wanted to really have some nice craftsmanship so that it's just that marker line without that pencil line sneaking from behind. We are gonna be coloring our spiders with the secondary colors. The secondary colors are colors that we create by mixing two of the primary colors together. So orange is a secondary color, we mix it by using red and yellow. Green is a secondary color, we mix it by using blue and yellow. And purple is a secondary color, we mix it by mixing red and blue. So we're gonna start with our secondary colors. I think I'm gonna start with orange for my first spider. So I'm gonna color it in with my marker. You could color it in with crayon, colored pencil, or paint, whatever materials you are going to be able to use, but I'm gonna model this with marker. And then I'm gonna do my spider's legs so that they stand out as nice, beautiful, secondary color orange lines. All right, 
Now I need, to, I've got two more secondary colors. I've got two more spiders. Should I make this one green or purple? <gasps> Ooh, great idea. I think I'm gonna make this one green. So I'm going to grab my marker. I'm gonna color it in nice and neatly, staying in the lines that I created. And I'm going to repeat my lines four on each side to get eight legs for my fabulous spider. Now I've got one last secondary color left. Who knows what it is? If you said purple, you are so right. So my last spider is gonna get colored in purple. Again, I'm working to control my tool so I have great craftsmanship, staying inside my lines as I work with that tool. And I've got one, two, three, four on that side, one, two, three, four on the other side. If you wanted to add in eyes for your spiders, you certainly could to really finish them off so that they have their eight eyes as well. If you wanted to add in some other spider details like pinchers, you could do that as well. Alrighty, next we're gonna be working with the primary colors, that other side of our color groups. Um, these colors are special because we can't mix them by using any other color. They are just the colors that they are. Our primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. I'm going to be working with crayon for my primary colors. And as I work with crayon, I'm going to repeat my primary colors once in each layer of my spider web. But I'm going to alternate them so I still have some white space and so that they're not creating necessarily a pattern. As I'm doing this, I'm thinking about the artwork that we looked at from the famous artist Piet Mondrian, who is a French guy. So I'm going to fast forward this part. Remember, we are coloring with great craftsmanship. When you're all done with your Piet Mondrian inspired primary color spider web with secondary color spiders, please post the picture to our Seesaw activity. I can't wait to see what you create.